This time, the chair recognizes Councilman Don, who presented a resolution honoring the late Ed Snyder. With Craig Snyder and those accompanying him, please join the councilman at the podium. And joining Councilman Don, we have Councilman Green, Councilwoman Fiona Sanchez, Councilman Johnson, Councilman Squilla, Councilman Heenan, Councilwoman Parker, Councilman Taubenberger, and Councilwoman Kim. And Councilwoman Bass. Today we honor uh, the late Ed Snyder. Before we get started, I just want to say a few words. You talk about entrepreneurism. Uh, this is a man who's created a tremendous amount of jobs in Philadelphia, a Philadelphia icon in the sports world and in the business world. And when you think about it, I mean, today I just learned that there's over 3,200 jobs affiliated with the Flyers organization that Ed Snyder created. But more importantly is the charitable work that Ed Snyder did, which is pretty amazing, which you'll hear about. But also, when you think about it, entrepreneurism, and I know that Council President tomorrow is having an event on entrepreneurism tomorrow, if I recall, right? Yeah. So uh, here's a man like Ed Snyder who would have been great to have at that event. And um, for those of you who don't know about it, there's an event tomorrow on entrepreneurism being hosted by Council President Clark. We should get the word out. People should attend. So let me start with the resolution. Today we're honoring and remembering the late Ed Snyder, co-founder and owner of the Philadelphia Flyers for nearly 50 years who passed away Monday, April 11, 2016, at the age of 83, after a long battle with bladder cancer. Whereas Ed Snyder, known as one of the most enthusiastic sports owners in Philadelphia history, formed the Philadelphia Flyers with several partners when Philadelphia was awarded an expansion team in 1966. Whereas, despite the fact that Philadelphia was a city with no hockey tradition, <coughs> base of hockey fans or an arena, the spectrum was built on Broad Street in the 2nd Councilmatic District, and Ed Snyder, the Flyers turned Philadelphia into a town that loved bare knuckle fights on the ice, and one proud to bear the name, the Broad Street Bullies, and... Whereas, in 1974 and 1975, the Flyers won consecutive Stanley Cup championships, making the Flyers the National Hockey League's first expansion team to win the hockey's holy grail. And my neighbor, by the way, who made me listen to those albums, right? they used to have albums of Gene Hart doing the uh, series, and I've listened to them for about three years straight, so I still hope he has them. Whereas... <laughs> And whereas Councilman Al Taubenberger's life was changed because he became an avid hockey fan. <laughs> Even though the Flyers have not won the, any Stanley Cups since the team has become one of the best in the National Hockey League, making the playoffs 38 times, playing in six more Stanley Cup finals, and the last in 2010. And as a season ticket holder, there's a lot of things that are going to happen in a positive way. Whereas... <coughs> Whereas Ed Snyder became one of the most influential National Hockey League owners, attending nearly all of the Flyers' home games and creating an organization that felt like a family. And whereas in 1990, a Philadelphia Daily News poll named Ed Snyder the city's greatest sports mover and shaker, surpassing basketball broadcaster Sonny Hill and the legendary athletics manager Connie Mack. And... Whereas, in 1980, Ed Snyder received the Lester Patrick Trophy for contributions to hockey in the United States and was inducted into four Hall of Fames, the Hockey Hall of Fame 1988, 
the Philadelphia Jewish Sports Hall of Fame, 1997, the Philadelphia Sports Hall of Fame, 2005, and the United States Hockey Hall of Fame, 2011, and Whereas Ed Snyder's most important legacy, however, is the Ed Snyder Youth Hockey Foundation, created by Ed in 2005, which promotes life skills in hockey through after-school, recreational, and supplemental educational activities for children and families in Philadelphia and Camden, New Jersey, and is provided at no cost and focused on underserved boys and girls who would not otherwise have the opportunity to play, and one of those sites is in the 9th District at Simon's Recreation Center. <laughs> and whereas, among other things, Ed Schneider's Foundation partnered with the city and the state on a $14.5 million project to refurbish four Philadelphia rings for year-round use, and today serves approximately 30,000 children in Philadelphia and Camden, with a plan to double the size of the program over the next uh, several years. The seventh has a ring and a playground supported by the Snyder Foundation, so we're very happy. Whereas, there are very few owners in the history of sports that have the de decades-long legacy of Ed Snyder from the founding of the franchise through over 40 years of stewardship. His dedication to the Flyers and the city of Philadelphia can't be celebrated enough as we mourn his loss. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Council of the City of Philadelphia hereby honors and remembers the late Ed Snyder, co-founder and owner of the Philadelphia Flyers for nearly 50 years, who passed away Monday, April 11, 2016, at the age of 83, after a long battle with bladder cancer. One other thing I wanted to mention, though, is that besides being a great entrepreneur and a great philanthropist, Ed was also a great dad and a great and a wonderful grandfather. He had six children, 15 grandchildren, and today we're blessed to have his sister Phyllis from Chevy's, Chevy Chase, Maryland here with us today, right behind me, Phyllis, and three of his children, Lindy, Craig, and Serena, and Craig's wife, Edna. So I thank them for being here today, and uh, can't say enough about Ed Snyder and what he did for the city of Philadelphia. Thank you. And the chair recognizes Mr. Snyder for remarks. Hello, uh, members of the City Council and Councilman Dom. Thank you for honoring my father, Ed Snyder, here at City Hall today. My name is Craig Snyder, and I was 10 years old when my dad pulled me and my younger brother Jay aside and told us not to worry. He was an eagle then, but he was about to become a flyer. He was only 33 years old when he mortgaged all he owned to start the flyers. It was a family affair from the start. His sister Phyllis is here with me today. She named the team. My mother designed the flyerette uniforms and Freddie Flyer, well, I don't know who designed Freddie, but we were all there sitting in Section T, Row 11, when the very first puck was dropped at the Spectrum at the first game. I can still remember the roar of the fans. No, it was not a sellout. It was those loud air conditioning fans overhead <laughs> that would never be heard again once the Flyers took off. But we did hear the mighty roar of Philadelphia's real fans on the road to those two Stanley Cups in 74 and in 75. And in every playoff run since Clarkey started it all with guys like Moose and Bird, Hammer and Hound, Dorney, Bernie, and the Watson brothers. I'll never forget when old man Watson came down from Smithers, British Columbia, straight from the farm to hoist the cup with his boys. We were family then, and we're family now. 50 years later, amazing. And my dad knew he was leaving the organization in good hands with Brian Roberts and the Comcast team, which adopted Ed Snyder and the Flyers 20 years ago. Dad said Philly fans were the greatest fans on earth. 
He fought year in and year out to bring the cup back to Philadelphia, as much for them as for himself. Ed Snyder wasn't born here, but Philadelphia became his true home, and I am honored to represent the Snyder family in accepting this special resolution on his behalf. Thank you all very much. Council Vides. Thank you. At this time, the chair recognizes Councilman Dom, who will present a resolution honoring the Philadelphia Flyers on their 50th anniversary. Would Paul Holmgren and those accompanying him please join the councilman at the podium? Hey. It's all good. <laughs> and joining Councilman Dom. We have Councilwoman Rose Brown, Councilman Heenan, Councilman Taubenberger, Councilman Squilla, Councilman Greenlee, Councilman O, Councilwoman Keona Sanchez, Councilman Green, Councilwoman Bass, Councilman Jones, O'Neill, and Johnson. Councilwoman, 
you need to come up here. I don't know if you have a role, if you have a speaking role, but you probably should be up here. <laughs> Councilwoman Blackwell, you, you, you probably need to come up here too. <laughs> They're not speaking, they just, they just look lonely out there. <laughs> like to honor today, of course, the Philadelphia Flyers on their 50th anniversary. So we'll get started with the resolution. And we have here today from the Flyers, Sean Tilger, John Page, and Paul Holmgren. So let's get started. Honoring and recognizing the Philadelphia Flyers on their 50th anniversary and acknowledging the 2016-2017 hockey season as the 50th anniversary season of the Philadelphia Flyers hockey. Whereas February the 9th of 2016 marked the 50th year anniversary of the NHL announcement that Philadelphia would be among six expansion teams for the 1967-68 season and Whereas the early group called the Philadelphia Hockey Club Incorporated included Ed Snyder, then treasurer of the Philadelphia Eagles, coach Keith Allen, and general manager Norman Bud Polo, Poldy, and was given little over a year to present a $2 million expansion fee to guarantee its entry. And whereas on February 8, 1966, in order to close the deal in obtaining the franchise, Ed Snyder traveled to New York to present their plan to the convened NHL owners, which promised the building of a modern 15,000-seat arena in Philadelphia, later named the Spectrum by Lou Scheinfeld, the Flyers' first vice president of business operations, and... Whereas the following day, Philadelphia was officially awarded a conditional NHL franchise. The condition was to deliver on the promise of a state-of-the-art arena and pay the franchise fee. And whereas the Philadelphia Flyers not only made good on their promise, but also that the first expansion team in the post original six era to win the Stanley Cup, victorious in 1973, 1974, and again in 1974 and 1975 and Al Twelvenberger was there for 49 of the 50 years. <laughs> Whereas... Wow. Whereas, since their first season in 1967-68, the Flyers have an all-time points percentage of 57.7%. As of the 2015-2016 NHL season, the second best in the NHL, behind only the Montreal Canadiens and the Boston Bruins at 60.1%. And whereas the Flyers also have the most appearances in the conference finals of all the 24 expansion teams with 16 appearances and 8 wins, and they are second behind the St. Louis Blues for the most playoff appearances out of all the expansion teams with 38 out of 48 seasons, of which Allen was in 49 of them. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas, although the Flyers have not won a Stanley Cup since the 74-75 season, there have been plenty of other highlights, including the 1976 win over the Soviet Red Army and the NHL record for the longest undefeated streak with 35 games during their 79-80 through 80 season. And... Whereas, the Flyers currently have 18 personnel in the Hockey Hall of Fame, including fame players... Bernie Parent, Bobby Clark, Phil Barber, Mark Howe, and Eric Lindros. And whereas, when asked to comment about the Flyers' 50th anniversary, the late Ed Snyder said, it's hard to believe that we're going to be celebrating our 50th anniversary. It feels like it was just yesterday when the National Hockey League awarded us the expansion franchise. In our first season, the hockey news through thought we would most likely not succeed, right? but were they ever wrong? Now we are here with memories of two Stanley Cups, the Russian game in 1976, the 35 game unbeaten streak, the five overtime, the five overtime win 
against Pittsburgh in the 2000 playoffs, coming back from against the Boston 2010, down three games, two winter classics, and so many more. My favorite part has been sharing these memories with all the players who define Flyers hockey, with the hundreds of employees who tirelessly to create a great experience with the millions and millions of dedicated, loyal, and passionate Flyer fans who have made our first 50 years so incredible. Together, we truly have something special. And Whereas over the last 50 years, the Philadelphia Flyers have been a team the city of Philadelphia and all its residents can be proud of. And we wish them the best during their 2016-2017 50th anniversary season. And now, therefore, be it. Be it resolved that the Council of the City of Philadelphia does hereby honor and recognize the Philadelphia Flyers on their 50th anniversary and acknowledge that the 2016-17 hockey season as their 50th, 50th anniversary season of the Philadelphia Flyers hockey. Further resolve that an engrossed copy of the resolution be presented to the Philadelphia Flyers as evidence of the sincere respect and admiration of this legislative body. I just want to say a few other words that I thought of, and that is that it's important that Ed Snyder and the Flyers, they go together, and that's why we have them both today, because without Ed Snyder, we'd have no Flyers. So it's really, really impactful. And the other thing I want to mention is so many of the Flyers around the community, Philadelphia Flyers, the actual players, donating their time, giving to charities, they do a great job, and I think we should applaud that too, because they do a tremendous amount of charity work. Thank you. Sure. Chair recognizes Mr. Hong Wen for remarks. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, first of all, I, I'd really like to uh, congratulate the Corcoran family on on uh, on what they uh, received today. I, I feel honored that I was here to witness that. It's uh, that's an incredible fight that they've gone through over the number of years that they've fought that fight and hopefully the next part of the fight to get to achieve their uh, um, closure will be uh, not so long. I'd also like to congratulate the Snyder family. Uh, uh, what an honor uh, to have known Mr. Snyder all these years and, and to, to witness that today too is something special for me. Uh, on behalf of the Philadelphia Flyers, I'd like to thank Councilman Dom and all the council for welcoming and honoring us here today. It was 50 years ago this year that Ed Snyder brought hockey to Philadelphia. And what an impact it's made on the city. You know, uh, Ed Snyder, somebody mentioned it earlier, I think it was Craig, he, 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 wasn't, he wasn't from Philadelphia, but Philadelphia was his home. He loved this city. He, he, he loved his team more than anyone, the Flyers. And he really loved the city and the people in Philadelphia uh, very passionately our fans. Um, 50 years of flyer hockey, right? what, what can you say? Uh, other people have thrown out numbers. I'd like to throw out some of those numbers just to reinforce what, what's happened over the last 50 years. The Flyers uh, have won 1,895 games over those 50 years, regular season games. It's the second highest winning percentage of all time, only, second only to Montreal Canadiens, and they've been around like 100 years. Um, the Flyers have been in the Stanley Cup Finals eight times, and they've won uh, two championships. And there's more to come. Focusing on the future, uh, looking back on the past, we have a lot, of, a lot of things going on this season. We have many, many heritage nights, many, many memories that we're going to celebrate. But we're really, really, really looking forward to the next 50 years. So thank you again for having us here today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.